Let's go. I see this beautiful drop three ring iron there. I finally pulled some silver on the ground. Yes. <laughs> Woo! So it's try day. Pooper. All right, back at the nectar sector here. Uh, this is the first hole, first signal. Truck's right there. Um, so it's coming up mid 60s, low 70s. It looks like a coin, uh, maybe a button, but it's green. It's a button. Come here, Hank. Lots of buttons here. Oh, looks like it's gold gilted on the back, too. Oh, sorry, that was out of focus. All right, I'm gonna clean it up, see what it says. Okay, so here's that button cleaned up a little bit more. Uh, let's see it's got the gold gilt on it shankless it's got a bunch of back fancy it's a pretty small button this is the face nothing on it the reverse so not bad for a whole two minutes being out here we still got this whole field all right let's keep digging So I popped this hole. It was about 76 to 78 signal. Um, fortunately, it's not complete, but it is a nice piece. Large crotal bell, the top end of it. You can see the hole in the shank right there. Great piece. It's a nice little spot. Let's keep digging, right, Hank? Okay, so I'm right up against the road and there's power lines here making my detector freak out but I'm just doing it really slow and uh, picking through the signals and I got a good signal there's a lot of can you know can stuff right along the road but I got a good signal I popped it out and look at that it's freaking round as heck I don't know if it's silver Let's see if it's ringing up it sounds really good All right, let's see what it is. Man, I don't know what this is, but it's going to be old. Definitely has some writing on it. I'm gonna clean it up and I'll get back to you. It's super light, so, and I just dropped it. Where did it go? There it is. All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, so here's the token. It says, shells, famous faces, no, famous facts and faces. And on the other side, it says, Mark Twain's Mississippi Mississippi River boat. And you can barely see the boat in there with some trees. I guess it's an aluminum token. Pretty cool. I'll take it. Okay, I'm out here by myself. The boys all had to go. And I finally think I have something that is worth filming. That right there? I don't know what it is. Let's bring it up real nice. Pop it out. Oh, buddy. Wow. 
What are you? Whew. Is that a, a lighter maybe? Like a zippo or something maybe? Pretty cool. See you on the next one. All right, so we're back at one of our best permissions and uh, we've worked this field multiple times, but I figured I'd come back here. Uh, just popped this hole. I was getting like a low signal, 38 to 42. Um, I already cleaned it up. I was on the phone with somebody when I dug it, but uh, check it out. Look at how cool that is. I'm trying to figure out what it is. It's definitely aluminum, I think. Maybe it's not aluminum. I don't know, but it's super ornate. And it's got um, a piece up here that moves back and forth. Like uh, you'd attach a lanyard to it. And then it's got a hole in the bottom. So I'm thinking maybe it's a dog whistle. Uh, but I don't know. I doubt I'll find anything about it on the internet. But we'll see. So I've been here for about an hour and a half. It's the first decent thing I've dug. It's not bad. We'll keep swinging. Okay. Well, I know what it is. We have a treat for you here. Uh, I just dug this hole over here, a little piece of aluminum, and I rested my metal detector down right here. Oh, right here. Um, so when I filled this hole in, I picked up my metal detector, and this was going bing, bing, and I went over it a few times, and it was like 88, 89 hard. So I popped it out, and it was a nice tight signal. Um, and it's right here. And I'm like, oh, maybe it's a quarter, clad quarter. So I grabbed it. And it looked black to me. But the clad comes up in like a lot of different, uh, different colors here. So anyway, I swiped it. And there's this eagle. And I'm like, oh, nice. Still don't know what it is. Then I flipped it over. It's a standing liberty. Heck yeah. Let's get some water on this. I'll try not get in the shade for you here. I think it's, is it a half? No, it's a quarter. It's a standing Liberty quarter. All right. I'm going to clean it up a little bit and then uh, we'll get a date off of it. Yes. Okay, so we're out here again. Day after me, Trey, and his dad were out here, found a bunch of stuff. Big hair's out here with us now. Hey, look what I found! <laughs> All right, let's see. That just got popped. So let's take it out. Oh, it's gotta be a copper. It's gotta be a copper. We're gonna clean it off. It's too wet. I can't get most of this off. We'll get back to you. All right, well, here it is. It's an 1810 Classic Head. It's in really good shape. Probably one of my best condition coppers. Um, I can't believe I found this. We've been over this spot. We've said this before. We've been over this spot 
dozens of times and we're still finding tappers. Um, so it's it's just such a fun place to be. The uh, back isn't really cleaned off much yet. You can see the one cent. There she is, Lady Liberty. Not bad. Alright, I'm pretty sure I got another one here, but we'll see. This one's deep. It's about six inches, so we're hoping for another one. Still ringing up pretty good. I think it's out. I nicked it really good so I'm hoping that's the backside Let's pluck her out of there give her a rub all right we're gonna have to clean it off man I hit that thing good. well it feels pretty light maybe colonial uh, See what it is it's a plow kiss straight bust my first straight bust um, can't really get a date off of it I think it's 18 something but definitely a straight bust oh yeah look at that kissy that's quite the nick as long as it wasn't on pretty lady Liberty's face she's already got a lick on her there Oh man, I can't believe I just popped two coppers. It's the same spot. I'm like 50 feet away from where I found the 1810 capped, uh, not capped, uh, classic head. Can't believe it. Let's keep digging. Big Hair's trying hard over there. But he's not digging many signals. So I just pulled this out of the hole. We cleaned it up a little bit already. I don't know how well you can say it, but it says New York, and then it's got the numbers 83891. Um, before I rubbed it really hard, I thought it, I saw it said license up here, uh, but now you really can't see it. It looks like there's some more writing down here, and uh, there's nothing quite on the back yet. Actually, there may be. Um, before I put water on it, I just wanted to show it like this. The water may ruin it, but oh well. Let's see how she turns out. Oh, oh look at that, that made it look way better. Oh man. New York, New York. Oh, oh you can see words on the top yep. now. It says licensed chauffeur chauffeur New York it's like a taxi cab yeah. uh, like ID pin or something yep so sh licensed chauffeur New York 83891 it's like a badge number like I said at the bottom it says something too oh it's got a date 1928. Nice. Very nice. Can't really make that out. But... Oh, I see it. Something 1928. Oh, yeah. July 1st. July 1st, 1928. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Expire. So that's what it says. Expires July 1st. Awesome. Nice find. Thanks. Happy New Year. Oh, look. It's got sir. some stuff on the back, too. Oh, let's see the back. says manufactured by 
American Emblem Co., cool. Utica, New York. New York. This is my first good find of 2019. I'll take that all day. Yeah, Hanky. Yeah, Hank, get it. Congrats, babe. Thanks. Okay, so we're playing three strikes here out <laughs> because it's getting cold. It's obviously getting dark. Yeah, it looks a little brighter in the picture here, but and Cletus has two strikes. And look what he just popped. Look at this. And it rings up 84 hard. It's not readed. I kind of hope it's a pull tab, but I know it's not. No, it's that. Well, it would I just guess be it really be. funny because you're super excited. I think it's my first silver of the year, but I'm a little nervous here because it's definitely not readed. Oh, it's definitely a coin. Hank. One dime. One dime. Yes. Yes. Is it going to be seated or barber? Woo! How's that for January 1st? All right. This is going to be my oldest silver for sure. Can you see it says one dime? Yeah, if you'd hold still there, Mr. Excited. Look at that. Oh, it's loud and proud there. What do you think it's going to be, seated or barber? Um, I, I think it's going to be a seated. Well, I think it's going to be a barber because this site's not that old. All right, wait, wait, wait. If if you're right, we can stay and, and you get to start all over again because this will be a home run. Okay. And if I'm right, we're going home because my feet are cold. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Actually, oh, I don't think I have any. Are you sure? I don't think so. I don't think I have much water left. Well, I have my water bottle if I need to refill. So I can refill. You're just, you're just putting off losing. All right, we, I need more water. Okay, all right. Stand by, we're gonna get more water. The food's refilled. All right, here we go. Let's see if it is. Barber or seated? Oh, I can't tell yet. Do a little swipey swipe, gentle. It's a barber. You lucky ducky. She is thin. All right, that's a home run. You get three more strikes and then we're going home. All right, let me see if I can get a date off it real quick. You think you can get a date? Let's see. Oh my gosh. Can I see it? I've been trying, I've been trying for this. A bucket lister? Bucket lister on the first of the year? Is that like Catching a fish on the first cast, is that going to be like it? One and only silver over the year? 1898. Oh man. Boom. You know what that means? What's that mean? That's our first pre 1900s um, piece of finds. This is my. In the site. This is my first 1800 silver. I did find that that eight that eighteen fifties uh, braided hair right oh. here too. Oh yeah, man, you're a lucky. Eighteen ninety eight. See if we can get close up. Look at that. It's smooth, but it's there. Mwah. Or as uh, Kurt does. That's gross. Oh, it tastes so good though. Hanky, come. <laughs> 